the tumultuous time before D-Day, there once was a man named B-J, with chocolate box hair and a face like a bear and a jacket he picked up on eBay. He was out one day murdering Germans just as they tried to enact London's burning. He beat up some dudes and broke missile tubes so their boat got blown up, that'll learn him. But while there, he made the discovery that the Nazis had powers like no other read. He brought back a bangle with some mystical angle to which the Allies responded, oh buggery. At the secret service of Queen Lizzie, BJ's bosses find themselves in a tizzy. So they stand up and shout, BJ sort this all out, we do it ourselves, but we're busy. So he sent to a big German town where some serious shit's going down. And there's an active resistance to need of assistance and everything's gone greyish brown. It soon becomes clear that the city has been invaded by occult committees, mystical creatures and slavering creatures and gymnasts with stonking great titties. You may wonder if this is a sequel to some past Wolfenstein or a prequel depicting our hero in a previous era when he wasn't looked upon as an equal. It's actually meant to succeed Return to Castle Wolfenstein's Eid, which is pretty damn slow because that was eight years ago and the memories have gone stale indeed. The new Wolfenstein seeks to enthrall with an ongoing high-octane brawl, but it's a game about war that we've all seen before and that just like the title adds fuck all. Any pretense of freshness is gone at the very outset of stage one. You escape your pursuers via underground sewers, so we start as we mean to go on. Your gun is of course your best friend, on which you must always depend. When you get into fights, you can lock down the sights and bullets come out of the end. Weapon choice doesn't start too exciting, two machine guns, the rifle for sniping. Later on, BFGs coming with guarantees to shoot various lightning. There are soldiers all over the place, who can't take two shots to the face, but before you force scorn, they always respawn at a pretty disquieting pace. You don't need to worry about health if you're retarded and lousy at stealth, just get behind cover and it'll all come back by itself. It won't help you avoid the bum rape later on when you get into scrapes with powerful blasters and big armored bastards with weak points the size of a grape. To help out you have on your side, magic spells that some crystals provide. On the appropriate queue, the world turns greenish blue so it looks like your monitors died. You can take down the big lads in minutes, start a fight with ten men and still win it, make your weapons divine or just use bullet time which wasn't that great when Max Payne did it. But the powers are hard to sustain, your magic is too swiftly drained, in the middle of a fight you'll end up in the shite and suffer a whole world of pain. And in between all of the shooting you also must think about looting, because if you want to upgrade someone has to be paid and the shopkeepers don't like free booting. Why do all games need upgrading elements, even ones where it isn't quite relevant? It means all your big hitters start off in the shitter and your aim is unfirm and inelegant. So when you've extinguished the danger you backtrack to all of the chambers searching every last nook for cash and checkbooks which you won't find much fun I would wager. It transpires that the in-game reality has pretensions to non-linearity, the game says on your bike get wherever you like, as long as it's in this principality. But the freedom's a mere gilded cage that adds nothing to inspire or engage, it just means beating feet through the same boring streets just to get to the next fucking stage. There's very little to do except hunt for secrets and money up front, but the reward's pretty lame, all the streets look the same, and the bats keep respawning the cunts. It's not a totally asinine sure, there are optional missions to score, but I went out of my way and found to my dismay that in total there's only like four. I guess the ultimate question is why should I even bother to try? Every last NPC fills me with apathy, am I expected to care when they die? I know what you're gonna say, Yahtzee you slick internet paparazzi! Surely it's always fun to stick the butt of a gun up the arse of a goose-stepping Nazi? Well if you like starting punch-ups in bars, or your head has been lodged up your arse, Wolfenstein may give at least some joy to dip, otherwise don't bother two stars.